Today we're looking at a Pentax 6.7 medium format camera. Check out my other video to see how to load film and make exposures. On the top left you will find the shutter speed dial. I'm using a TTL pentaprism which fits over the dial that's built into the camera. When using the pentaprism, change the shutter speed using the lower click wheel adapter. The top dial contains the film speed selector. To change the film speed, lift the outer ring and turn. On the other side, you will see the film advance lever with the exposure counter and the shutter release button. The lever at the base will lock to avoid accidental exposures. On the front of the camera, there are four lugs. You can attach straps to any of these positions using the dedicated clasp. To remove the clasp, press a coin against the middle layers. The layers will shift slightly, allowing you to remove it. To replace the clasp, position on the lug and push the layers back together. You can also attach a wooden handle to the lugs. Position the handle over the lug, push it up until the middle pin engages with the camera body. Screw the pin into place to secure it. The handle has a cold shoe mount at the top and two extra lugs on the back. The handle is very useful because this camera is quite heavy. I use both a strap and the handle. I use the standard 90mm lens which accepts a filter size of 67mm. The lens is very intuitive for anyone who has used a manual camera before. The front ring is for focus and there is a standard distance scale and depth of field scale. Behind that is an f-stop ring which runs from f22 to f2.8. Toward the base of the lens you will find a depth of field preview lever. In auto mode the aperture is always at the brightest setting until the time of exposure. Pull it back and push in to change it to manual mode. On the manual setting the lens is closed down to the indicated f-stop. That allows you to preview the depth of field. Push in at the end and the lever will spring back to the original position. On the side you will find two flash terminals and the lens release lever. Push it toward the back of the camera and rotate the lens to remove. Avoid touching anything inside that area. To restore the lens, align the red dots and gently twist back into place until it clicks. Never force the lens into place. On the front of the camera, you will also see the mirror reset button. This is used to reset the mirror if it becomes stuck due to low battery. On the other side, you will find the mirror lockup lever. This allows you to lock the mirror in the up position to avoid camera shake. You will not be able to focus or compose with the mirror up, so don't push it up until you're ready to make the exposure. The finder is interchangeable. To remove the finder, push the two side buttons in and lift the finder away. This finder also comes with an adapter ring that fits over the shutter speed dial. The focusing screen is also interchangeable, but it's not convenient. To change it, you must disassemble the mask using these tiny screws. On the prism base, you will see the diaphragm coupling pin. This aligns the coupling slide on the camera body. Closer to the viewfinder, you can find the electric connecting pins. The pentaprism draws power from the camera battery. On the side arm, you will find the shutter speed dial coupling pin. This engages with a small hole within the camera shutter speed dial so that they turn together. Before you replace the finder, you must remove the lens. This will position the coupling slide properly with the diaphragm coupling pin. Failure to remove the lens before replacing the finder may result in unintentional wear and damage. Watch how the coupling slide changes position when the lens is removed. If it's not in position, this tiny chain may become weakened or break. To replace the prism, put the adapter ring around the film speed dial. Gently align the prism and press until it clicks into place. Then rotate the shutter speed dial until it's engaged and both dials move together. Restore the lens again by aligning the red dots and gently twisting back into place. Use of the pentaprism is very similar to 35mm Pentax models. Set the film speed on the shutter speed dial and activate the light meter using the switch at the top. When you look through the viewfinder, you will see the meter window. It's illuminated through the light window at the top, 
so the brightness of your subject will not affect the visibility of the meter display. Adjust the shutter speed or the f-stop until the needle aligns with the index mark in the middle. The light meter will remain on for 25 seconds, but you can turn it off manually to save battery life. On the back of the camera, you will find the battery test button. The indicator light is on the top left, but it may be obscured if you use this type of finder. The battery compartment is on the bottom. Lift the tab and rotate to remove. It's important to always have a spare battery because the shutter is electronically controlled. If your battery fails, the shutter will not function. On the bottom, you will also see two film retaining knobs. We'll look at these more closely in my next video on loading film and making exposures. This is the end.